Hi, I'm Angel with FleeceSun.com and with Shannon Fabrics. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute mini throw. It's self-binding, it's really fast, and it feels so good made out of cuddle fabric. The fabric I'm using in this tutorial is a cuddle toile and also a damask pattern. Love a damask! You will need two yards of fabric one, two and a third yards of fabric two, rotary cutter, ruler, and mat, and a marking pen. All right, once you have all those items, it's time to get started. Cut off all the salvages of the fabric, approximately one inch on either side for two inches total on both fabrics, one and two. Cut fabric one so it is 72 inches by 48 inches. Fabric two so it is 82 inches by 58 inches. Great, now that you have those pieces cut out, we're gonna do some special pinning to make sure that your blanket lines up properly. Place fabric two, the larger piece of fabric, right side up on the floor. Then you're going to fold each side in half and mark that half point with a pin. Repeat on all sides. Then place fabric one so it is right side down touching fabric two. So right sides are touching. Then fold fabric one in half and mark each center point like you did with fabric two. Do this for all four sides. Now we're going to pin the two pieces of fabric together. So what you're going to do is you're going to line up the center pins on both fabric one and fabric two and pin it together at that point and then pin from the center out on all four sides. Be sure to use a lot of pins for best results. Note, you will have excess on the corners. That's on purpose. Perfect. Okay, now it's time to start sewing. Using a straight stitch with a half inch seam allowance, sew from the center out on each of the sides. Be sure to end your seam a half an inch away from the edge of the fabric. Note, I sewed from the center out on each side because of the stretch of the fabric to try and make it as even as possible. Be sure to leave a four inch turning gap in one of the sides. Okay, so now that you've finished sewing the edges, you've noticed you've kind of have these floppy ends, this excess. Well, that's what we're gonna use to make the mitered corners, okay? Really easy to do. Now it's time to make the mitered corners. I'm sure you've noticed the excess you have on each corner of the blanket. We're gonna use this to make mitered corners using an old trick. Fold the blanket at one of the corners so the seams touch and the edges of the excess fabric, that's fabric two, meet. Then take your ruler and marking pen. Line up the ruler so it meets at a 45 degree angle to the edge. Draw a line with your marking pen. This is where you will sew a seam. All right, so you're gonna take those two pieces of fabric, you're gonna put them together, and you're gonna line up that triangle, okay? And you're gonna draw a line. Now, trust me on this one, don't cut it right now. You do not do that. I can't tell you how bad it would be if you messed up at this point. So please sew it first, then cut off the excess. Trust me, you do not wanna make this mistake. So what you're gonna do is that line that you just drew, you're gonna sew right along it, and then after you see you've made that line and you've sewn it, you're going to snip off the excess. You might even want to flip it right side out to make sure that it looks correct. Once you're happy with the seam, cut off the excess. Repeat the step for the other three corners. All right, so you're going to turn it right side out. Now it's time to finish up the blanket. Flip right side out using that turning gap that you left open. Taking care to get the corners completely turned out, so take your time and make sure they're nice and pointed. 
Then lay the blanket flat, taking care to make sure that it is laying perfectly flat and all of the borders are straight. Okay, so now it's kind of baggy and kind of this blob and we want it to lay nicely. So what you're gonna need to do is um, you're going to lay it all flat and you're going to pin it so it's lay, it'll lay properly. I recommend doing this on a big flat surface. Um, don't just do it in your lap because you want it to line up properly. So find a piece of carpet, lay it out wide on the floor, and then pin it down. Pin close the turning gap. Then pin down all the fabric between the border and fabric one. Okay, so you're gonna just pin right along those seams. All right, now you're gonna use a serpentine stitch um, to sew along the edge of where those two pieces of fabric meet. Um, if you want information on how to use a serpentine stitch, especially on cuddle fabric, there's another tutorial right here that you can follow to learn about it. To secure the blanket and sew the gap shut, we're going to use a serpentine stitch all the way around the blanket. You can use a serpentine stitch or any decorative stitch that you prefer. You're going to sew along that seam between fabric one and fabric two. Once you've done that all the way around the blanket, trim your threads and you're finished. Okay, so you're gonna sew along those edges and you're finished. Now, if you really want, you can tack it down in a few other points on it, but I don't think it's necessary. It's, it'll stay pretty stable as it is. And it's a perfect mini throw. It's great for little kids. Adults like it as lap blankets and it's made out of cuddle fabric, so it feels wonderful, right? If you like this tutorial, there are several others on this channel that I know you'll enjoy. You might also like this receiving blanket using the sew and flip method. You might also like this chin strap hat. For Shannon Fabrics, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com. Be sure to check out FleeceFun.com for all my free patterns and tutorials. Have a great day and Shannon Fabrics, making the world a softer place.